You will have life and you will have it abundantly. You know, let me share a little bit of my story. Before I became a reborn Christian, my fleshly, sinful mind told me, I believed, that if I became a Christian, it would probably be boring. It was only when Jesus Christ broke through the lies with His truth, when I understood what being a reborn Christian really meant, a child of God. It was then when I realized my previous life was boring, but now I'm actually experiencing true life in Christ, what it means to really have life and to have it abundantly. My life was actually just starting to make sense. Jesus says in John 10 verse 10, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. You know, I never understand. How is it possible that so many Christians are so pessimistic, so negative in this world? If that's you, you need to understand that to the world, if you look that way, you look like darkness. You don't look like light. And we are supposed to be the light of the world, the salt of the earth. We have received joy in God, not joy from the world. We don't get our joy from the world or the things of this world. That is why we can always have joy in this world because it comes from Jesus Christ Himself. He is our only source. And that is why now as children of God, reborn Christians, we have rivers of water, streams flowing in us. But Psalm 16 verse 11 says, You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And Philippians 4 verse 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Now you might say, well, Daniel, I don't have to always be joyful. I can't always be joyful because life happens. Well, God also happened in my life, in true reborn Christians. And He tells us to be joyful, not sometimes, but always. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16 says, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. You know, I've seen a lot of Christian parents suck all the joy out of life from their children as well. And these children, the sad thing is that these children think that they know what true Christians are because of the legalism of their parents. But their parents, there's no life, there's no joy in them. And then these kids, they grow up hating religion. And it's sad because they never truly understand what it means to have a true relationship with God. Let me ask you, what example are you to other people? What example are you to your kids, to your family, to your friends, and to people who do not even know you? Where is your joy? Luke 1 verse 47 says, And my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. And Psalm 118 verse 24 says, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From now on, when you wake up in the mornings, don't wake up like this, oh, it's another day. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to do nothing. The world is a terrible place. No. <laughs> There's a lot of people, a lot of Christians even, who live this way. From now on, when you wake up, don't look at your circumstances. Look at God and say this. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. And listen carefully, your joy will be full if you truly abide in Jesus Christ. Because that is the normal outcome if you have fully surrendered every single aspect of your life to Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus says in John 15 verse 11, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee.